taking off. Straight up, right there. It must be an airplane. It's so. Damn. Man, that really looks like a rocket ship. I don't know. I just, I really think space, the c continuation of space, uh, like exploration is really, I think it's really an important thing. I, I think it should be like much more focused on in schools. I, I don't know. It's really like, like that's like the furthest away you can go, you know? It's like, that's like, like everything else is inherently like so like local, but that's so like, wow, like just so like. Would you like to go to space? Oh, yes. I think I will. I mean, the ideal, well, this is like impossible, would be to be like some, to work for NASA or something. Who is she? I forget her name. She's like, she was like a grade three teacher who died on Challenger. I just think it looks, I love this, this color of blue. And I love the like aesthetic of the spacecraft and the American flag. It's very nice. Do you want to know what's like really creepy about it? It's on the back. It says, yesterday's dreams are tomorrow's rainbows, which somehow just seems so, yeah. She's dead. Huh, <sighs> stellar evolution. No point of mirror. That's the end. Yeah, by three or four seconds after the Big Bang, all the baryonic matter in the universe existed. In, uh, in like the, uh, of like quarks and leptons and stuff. I've been studying some of these days. I've been putting in 14 hour days. Wait, any further education? Fuck, this is so much work. I have so much work. I have a, I have a huge aesthetic fascination with everything that is in Earth. Um, and this has been like greatly compounded by my study of like physics and astronomy or whatever. A lot of the reasons I'm so fascinated with it is because I cannot comprehend that that much size and like emptiness. Like I love like children's choirs because you have these like little kids that are like singing about. Like I usually can't even understand the words because they're like in Latin. But like that's what I like not being able to understand the words because it just sounds so something that I don't understand and I like that I can't understand it. And uh, it just seems that they I don't know know something that I don't know. And I want to make music that sounds like it's made from like the point of view of just some like, not extraterrestrial, but like otherworldly kind of like choir that's like power, or not power, like just know something that like other people don't know. Um, but isn't necessarily gonna tell them what that is, maybe. It's this like incredible, like solitary, like infinite, thing, blackness, that you could like flow through like forever. You know, it would be like being in like the biggest like cathedral ever. Like I imagine like being in this like, you know, like like this like immense reverb that is just like, you know, you sing out into space and it's like, oh, but you know, I, I assuming that it's a vacuum, I don't, I guess that wouldn't happen. I, I love the idea of like this of like the globe which already feels so big to me being like so incredibly small and I love like I love like just thinking I don't know it's a, it's pretty I guess dorky or, or whatever but like I really firmly believe that there is alien life out there I firmly believe that the universe is infinite I hope uh, it, it, you know there's proof that that's not the case I guess sometimes but like who, who knows you know like we'll never know there's no way to know. Separation confirmed. Now upper stage performance. Probably failed. I think I failed. I answered like a little more than 50% of the question. Like there was like a question like that was like the, like it was a true or false question, it was like the, the chemical composition of like, or whatever, Jupiter and Saturn is like primarily 
hydrogen and helium, true or false? And like it sucks because I know that it's true for Jupiter, but I'm not entirely sure if it's true for Saturn. Because I know Saturn has like a greater composition of like other uh, chemicals as well. So I just like didn't answer it, even though I feel like I like know about it. You know, it's just like I'm there. I think the sound of like longing in music is like really beautiful and I, 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 I don't know, a lot of my music has this like wishful like sort of like longing sense to it I think because it's like so trying to like get somewhere that I can like not, that I can't go. I feel a lot of the time that I'm like, I can't really like express myself to other people. So like when I am like making music or doing like visual art, like that is like really, like it's, it's such an abstract way to like express how you feel. But I really feel like that is so much more me than how I am in everyday life. Ultimately, I feel like I am an extremely lonely person. I don't really connect with anybody at all. Um, even like my like closest friends, I have, feel a huge void between them and myself. And I feel like art is like, like especially playing music, but also drawing is like this way that I like mediate this. I, I'm just, I'm definitely separate from everyone and I think that I probably always will be. Oh yeah, this one's pretty good. Science takes the facts and tries to like, 
you know, tries to come up with the most objective stance possible, but like ultimately that stance can't be objective and there's no way to know these things. And I, I like not knowing. I like just feeling like, I like floating in, in a void. I think it's like one of the most like terrifying and like beautiful things.